So welcome back to Eat Your Heart Out. Uh, my name is Omari Keith. I'm here with Mrs. K from K's Kitchen. Go ahead and tell them about yourself while I wash my hands real quick. All right, I'm from Chicago. I'm cooking here in Tampa, Chicago style fried chicken and fish. But today I'm gonna cook Chicago style fried chicken. Yes, ma'am, we are looking forward to it. So we don't have many um, ingredients, right? No. We just keep it pretty simple. Pretty simple. Um, if you want to give them an overhead of what we got to deal with. Okay. Well, we have a pack of chicken mm -hmm. wings here. Then we have the seasoning salt to season. I don't use much um, of the seasoning salt, but I also have a little garlic powder. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then I have my secret seasoning that's going to go on after the chicken So is this done. is why you got the restaurant. Yeah. Okay. And then we have the sauce. Okay. Okay. So let's get started. All right. We got gloves. We've washed our hands. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. We have our flour here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Have our flour. We're going to add some, like I said, seasoned salt. Not too much. Okay. Because we don't want to make it salty. I was just about to ask about that, about the, the measurements, about how much flour and... Uh, mm. That's about um, maybe two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. That's it to this little bowl. Okay, because okay. I was just going to say some as opposed to a lot. <laughs> some is good. Some is I good. I think some is good. Okay. Just eyeball it. I like to look at the color. Okay. If the color looks good. It's good. I don't want to do too much. Mm-mm. I don't want to do too much. Okay. Then I'll add some garlic powder. Yeah. At the restaurant, we know what, you know, we know what it looks like. Okay. Give us a good tech, get a good color going on. Then we add a little garlic powder. Just give it a little flavor. That's so it. do you do an egg wash or no. milk wash or? No egg wash. No milk wash. We just keep it very simple. I always thought it was weird that you put the chicken in the eggs but the eggs is the chicken right that's right <laughs> why would you yeah why would like, you i don't know <laughs> never thought of it like that but that, hey that's why you're the chef and i'm sitting here thinking about things like that you have me thinking now no no you cooking why okay there we go we nicely blend it okay okay we have the oil on over there yeah we got the oil hot before you guys started watching that's right okay we're gonna take the chicken, but we gotta wash it. Yeah, gotta wash it. Gotta wash it. My mama watching. Yes. I'm wearing a mask, mama, and we're gonna wash the chicken. Okay. We're gonna wash it. Remove any feathers. Mm hmm. All right. I don't like the flour, I don't like my chicken very wet. Right. I like it to drain a little bit. I don't like it too. Okay. Too wet. Let's get in the flour. So what temperature is your water? Is it pretty warm? Uh, I would say room temperature. Okay. You don't want it hot. Right. You don't want to cook the chicken. No, not in the water. No. Okay. Like I said, drain the water off the chicken, please. We don't want it thick. I like it nice and thin over my... We can agree to disagree. Why? There's nothing wrong with a little thickness. <laughs> you talking about chicken. Yes, we are. Okay, we you're are right. Talking about I'm chicken. sorry. We are talking about chicken. We're going to keep it clean. We're talking about chicken, yes. Okay, so we're gonna nicely coat it. Like I said, I don't like it too thick. Okay, I'm f hey, I'm learning your way. <laughs> okay, all righty. It's nicely coated. Uh huh. Okay. But you don't want the excess clumps on there. No, I don't want the excess clumps on there. Right. I like it nice and thin. People always ask me, hmm, Miss Kay, um, do you use a special flour? I asked you that. You did? I just sure did. <laughs> it must have went in one ear and out the other. That's right. Because, no, I don't use it 
people ask me that often. So, no, I don't use special flour. And like you see, I'm knocking off all the excess mm -hmm. flour off my chicken, just like the water. Don't want all of that on there. And then you want to get it in a fryer before it gets gummy. Okay. Okay. So over here, uh -huh. looks like it's about, oh yeah. Yeah, it's ready. Oh yeah. See, it's ready. Perfect. All right, I might have to uh, batter me up some chicken. <laughs> you don't want to overcrowd it. Wanna okay. Have it room to move around. So, about what temperature is our is our stove on? Um, well, it's I a usually gas stove. that's about a medium and a half, but I usually cook at the restaurant about three fifty. Three fifty. Keep it on three fifty. Okay. Nice fast cook. Usually takes about. Uh, maybe at the restaurant it takes about mm, seven minutes. Seven minutes just to like poach it a little bit, like poach it a little bit, not not too much, because then we're gonna cut it. Okay. We're gonna cut it. We cut it after we cook it. Yes. All right. We're gonna cut it after we cook it. So, what got you into into the chicken game? How'd you get started in this? Well, how I got started in it. Um. I started selling barbecue. I wanted to do barbecue. I wanted to give Tampa a taste of Chicago style barbecue. I don't it's, even think of Chicago style barbecue. Yeah, well, Chicago style barbecue um, is a lot different than Tampa. Tampa um, or Florida, they like to, um, I call it soggy meat. Because mm. you, you basically uh, smoke your meat for a long time. Mm -hmm. Smoke it. We don't smoke it. Mm -hmm. We smoke it, but we also, um, but it's, we like the little burn on it right. and a little crunch. Yeah. And it's both basically cooked with charcoal. You all cook with trees, like wood, oak. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't, I don't cook like that. I cook with charcoal. Yeah. But I know what you mean though. Yeah. It's a little different. We'll do the barbecue episode next. Maybe I can get you on that one too. Oh. Because I never even thought of about Chicago barbecue. I thought Rip about six. like rib tips y'all yes. do do rib tips we do rib tips not burnt ends rib tips y'all do rib tips rib tips hot links turkey tips yeah i never had a turkey tip yeah turkey tip it's just like a, a rib tip like a pork rib tip so if it's turkey not everybody um eats, eats pork. pork yeah so we have turkey tips okay we're gonna have to do that <laughs> next episode huh yeah okay um but so. um um, so I started doing the barbecue, but at the same time, I was doing fried chicken on the food truck. Okay. And, wow, Tampa just took to the fried chicken. They would wait. Um, I would cook in a little bitty fryer, and they would wait 20, 30, 40 minutes for chicken. And I'm like, okay, well, that won't be ready for about 45 minutes to an hour. We just post up. That's okay. They was like, okay, no problem. We'll wait. Yeah. So I got rid of the barbecue. And concentrated on the fried <laughs> and chicken. And concentrated on the fried chicken. And the chicken just took off. So do we need to concentrate on the fried chicken at all? Or will it just kind of do its own thing? It'll kind of do its own thing. We're okay. okay. I'm not worried about it. Yep, not worried about it. Okay. It's okay. Give the people some personality. Let's talk about you being from Chicago. Let's talk about family let's talk about like you being yourself well i'm from chicago okay um how i got to florida my son was 19. he loaded up his car and said he was moving to tampa florida and i was like okay had you been here before never <laughs> <laughs> never neither had he yeah but um he moved here back in july of like 2014 and he drove his car down and he got here he stayed here from july until about november and then he flew back home because he missed home yeah well he did that i was telling him hey let's go out let's you know hang out no it's cold mm -hmm. i'm like it's, you you've always lived here so here why would you yeah. why would you say it's cold oh well, it's beautiful in tampa he stayed up north for about mm, till july no january 6th it was negative 23 below zero. 
Oh, no. Nah. He flew back to Tampa. I went to work after he shoveled out my car and I dropped him off at the airport. And he said, I'm going to Florida. Yeah. So he was gone. That night, I came home from work. He said, I need you to FaceTime me. I said, okay. Let me get, get comfortable. He FaceTimes me, and it's like 6 o'clock in the evening, and I look at him, and he's in a jacuzzi. How are you in the jacuzzi? <laughs> Florida life. Florida life. Florida life. He said, I told you, Mom. I said, whoa, I need to get to Florida. Yeah. So I started looking for jobs here in Florida, and um, I got a job. January 23rd, I got a job. Okay. They hired me without meeting me. I did financial work. You got so a great personality, though. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So once he did that, February 15th, I was standing in Florida. Never been to Florida. He had to take me to my apartment. Mm -hmm. Stayed over in Countrywood. And here I am. When I met you, you were <laughs> running out of the food truck. The little red one. Yeah. Yeah, the little trailer. Yeah. And then you upgraded from that food truck to another food truck yeah. so you really been on your grind with the yes i stayed in the food trailer the little red one for about five months um i would sit at the flea market over on fowler in nebraska and sometimes i would go down to ebor city and do events that's where we met Ybor. Yes. and then um i got a food truck mm -hmm. and then i went and sat at 5508 it's a black uh -huh. business park mm -hmm. and i sat there for about 10 months and then it was a people used to always come to the truck and it was one guy he came and he said hey this is the best fried chicken i ever had people need to know about you but you sitting over on this right off of hillsborough across the street from the garbage company he's mm -hmm. like nobody would ever see you mm -hmm. i would sit there from sun up to sundown <laughs> so um he was one day he's like i'm gonna come back i'm gonna find a location for you and he did mm -hmm. he came back i when i saw him leave i was like wow this guy crazy. He's not, right. coming, he not back. coming back. He's not coming back. Well, he did. About three months later, and he was like, I found you a place. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, where? Now, mind you, I'm on 50th in Hillsboro. Right. Right behind Family right. Dollar. In between Hillsboro and, um, and like, Sly, right? Yes. Oh, down by the Right snacks. by Hannah. Right, yeah. right, right. So, um, next thing you know, he said, um, I want you to go over on 34th and Osborne. The burger spot left. Yep. And he was like, you know where that's at? And I'm on 50th. And I'm like, mm, no, I have no idea. I don't know anything about Tampa. Right. So um, he took me over there. And he was like, how would you like to come in here? And I was like, okay. So I did it. That's when you stand. had the window. That's when I had the window. I was there. So it was I came so there. Small. Yeah, I came there. So you did the window. Okay. And um, here I am. People would come up and try the chicken. And it just took off from there. So in the restaurant, you have a... An uh, airbrush, right? Like that tells oh, the, yeah. the, the entire a, journey. Yes, my entire journey is on my wall in my right. restaurant. It shows the food trailer, the food truck, and then the first brick and mortar. Right. And, it, and there's a, that's all laid out on your IG. Yes, it's so on my IG. What's so your Instagram? It's K's underscore chicken underscore kitchen. That's also my website. It's just K's chicken kitchen dot com. It has my menu. And it has a little bit of my story and yeah. things like that. And your family's on there. You got your yes. son. I met your son. I have I have four four sons uh -huh. and one daughter. And they're on the wall. And then I have a little brother. And then my husband has two children. And I have my grandchildren on the wall. They're like customers. So my son is, um, <laughs> he's a barber like you. Yes. Um, Fadeology. And um, Brandon, BP the creator. Yes. Brandon. And then I have. That's his um, IG? Yes. Uh, BP the creator. Shout out yes. BP. All right. And then I have John O. Okay. That's my other son, John. And I believe his name is John O on Instagram. Instagram. No, to the Barber. To the Barber. He works off of Hillsboro, 20, I mean, I'm sorry, Fletcher. 22nd okay. and Fletcher. It's a barber shop right there next door to Jerk Pit. Okay. Um, um, The Red Barber Shop. Next yes. to Jerk Pit and on Fletcher, and there's a laundromat in there, too. Exactly. He works there. His name is Tuda Barber. Okay. That's my oldest son. He's about 28. Shout out to? Yep, to, uh, to the Barber. Okay. Yeah. And then um, that's my son, John. And then I have another son named Brian, the one that brought us to Florida. Yeah. His Yaw Vision. He used to do all of my videos. All of my videos basically came from him. It was Yaw Vision. You probably saw it. He created that company. 
Now he's in Atlanta. Okay. He left here back in August, uh, October uh, to go and follow his dream to do film production. So he's starring in a movie with Jamie Foxx. I know that's right. So, I saw you with the picture. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes, he did. So we're gonna be pictures. cooking for Jamie Foxx then. Pretty soon. Okay. <laughs> Maybe if we get our invite him. It'll be. And then my daughter is a extended function dental assistant, and she lives in Indiana. Well, you just have. And I have one little boy. He's about sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah, he's an honor student out at East Bay High School. TJ. He's a music, music, he loves music, loves music. He what does he play? Trumpet. He taught himself how to play the piano. He can play um, the drums. Okay. He can play the guitar. Okay, because most 16-year-old musicians play the computer now, so that's, that's uh, impressive. He, do. he does all that. He, he makes do it all. Beats, music. Yeah, he's very... And what's his name again? We call him TJ. TJ. We call him TJ. Yeah. Well, you yeah. just have all the great energy. Yeah. And... Um, <laughs> I know that's what draw me to oh, you. Oh, and I, I forgot to tell me. Can't forget to tell you about my king, Alvin. No, my please, husband. yeah, please don't Alvin. get in trouble. You yeah, cannot forget about look at him. the camera when you Mr. talk. Mr. Alvin, yeah, look at yeah. Please don't Mr. get in Alvin trouble because Mr. Yeah. Alvin filtered. He basically he was the flame at the gas station when look, I blew now, up. I ain't gonna ask no personal so he's questions the about hey. why I blew up. Okay, because he was my flame and I was the gasoline and it just. Boom. Because he said, whatever you want to do, let's do put, it. Okay. And so, guess what? I brought my king right along with me. So I know that's right. riding with me. Yeah. We supposed to toast to that, man. We, <laughs> hey, hey, can we? Uh, can you pass me something over here, man? I'm going to have to go out. Uh, excuse me. Uh, We're going to have to toast to that. Okay, man. now we can talk about that chicken, too. Okay, let's talk about. Oh, okay. oh the Belvedere. Yeah, we got some Bel Air. Yeah. Oh, you know? Bel-Air. Yeah, Bel-Air. man. We support, I'm sorry. We support in black business. You can tell I don't drink. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I do. <laughs> we support in uh, black business, That's man. That's right. Rick Ross, you know. All right. Maybe we can make him come off the uh, wing stop and come on the case chicken. Exactly. We got the lemon pepper. Yes. So we're going to toast this okay. to... Uh, Fires and flames. Fires and flames and blowing up. And blowing up. Ooh. Can I get a couple um cups, please? Trust the audience. Y'all don't even know it'd be people in here. Well, it's people in here with us right now. Like, <laughs> it's people in here. And they know that I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> You look professional. You look professional at this. Hey, you ever get up close to a wall because it looked like a wall and it's a whole bunch of <laughs> matchsticks and scotch tape holding it together? <laughs> it looked like a wall, though. Okay, so. Okay, so we have to toast to that, huh? Yeah, I'm pouring yours first. Okay. I'm going to pour yours first. All right. Because we're only going to drink a little bit. It's early. All right. So we can toast to Alvin. I got a yes, great uncle Mr. Alvin. Alvin. Yes. So Mr. to Alvin. your Alvin, to my great uncle Alvin. All right. Cheers. Yes. Mm. Mm-hmm. Great. I got to pour myself some more before I pass it. <laughs> it might not make it back around the room. Y'all right. seen how, did, did you see how I had to go get the bottle? Yes. But when it was time for me to pass the bottle, it was just somebody right here. Yes. <laughs> when it was time for me to go get it, they didn't bring it to me. Yes. But yes. when it was time for me to pass the bottle. They were there. It was there. Because why? TV magic. Mm. Cheers again. Oh, yes. Cheers. Okay. Okay, let's check out this chicken. Mm. It's golden brown. Golden brown. They're not ready yet. At least not for me. Yeah, not for me either. Not yet. This is just the going to the next step. That's all. Okay, teach me. I'm here to learn. Yes, it's going to the next step. Most we I'm sell wingtips. You know, we sell wingtips at Kay's Kitchen. Really? Yes, the just the tip of the wing. We sell a whole basket. At Some the wingtips. The wing tips, I'll show you. 
Nah, okay. hear that? Nah, get your money. That's brilliant. There you go. So what we're gonna do? We can move this. Mm-hmm. Okay, what we're going to do? Usually I let it cool a little bit, <laughs> but it's okay. We're gonna do this here. Okay, that now. smells delicious. Yes, we're going to cut it. Okay, so where do you cut it? Right at the joint? Right at the joint. Easy cut. You know, what? when I teach employees how to do this, uh -huh. they always batter. They just, oh my God, they just tear the chicken up. Yeah, the skin These comes are, up and everything. Oh, the, it looks like it's been beaten. <laughs> but these are the wingtips. So that's still staying hot. Mm -hmm. You got to cut it right there, perfect. Right so on the joint. Yep, right on the joint. See, keep those wingtips. We're going to share. We're going to try some wingtips, too. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try all this. Okay, so as you see, they're not, to me, they're not. Hey! hey. What's going How on, How you doing? Bro? Hello. Good, good. All right. So as you see, they're not done. Mm -hmm. Most people like their, them well done. At Kay's Kitchen, you can have them Kay's way, which is a little bit more crispier than this way. Okay. Okay. Then there's some people that like them fried well. Uh-huh. And then there's some people that like them fried What's hard. What's the difference between extra crispier? Okay. Fried well and fried hard. Okay, K's way is always crispy. Like I said, these are not completely crispy okay. to me. So they're going to be a little bit more crispy, but they're still going to be juicy. Okay. And they're going to be crispy. Right. Now, if you want to fry well, I'm going to fry them a little bit longer and they're going to be extra crispy, mm -hmm. but slightly juicy. Okay. And then fry hard, we're going to no dry juice. them. We're going to barely okay. have anything. Okay. Know? And that's okay. the darker tint. That's Usually. well, yeah, it gets a little bit darker, yeah. but they don't go burnt. Yeah, not brown, brown, but yeah. just darker than right. Just you will brown. notice the difference. Right. Okay. okay, so we're gonna so put these, these are currently neither of those, neither of those. So you're gonna I need them cooked a little, a little bit, bit more, so yeah. that'd be K's way. Yes, okay, because these are not the, okay, <laughs> okay. So we're gonna put these back in here. Uh huh. I like that. I like how. I like how you cut them and then go back into the fryer yes. so it keeps it a little bit juicier. And as I said, we're going to put the tips back in yeah, because in everybody's going to try a tip. Also because we paid for those and we finna eat it all. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I cook those for like another four minutes. Four or five minutes? Yep, yeah, about four minutes. Okay. And that's another thing. When I, um, a lot of people come to the restaurant, they're like, fry my chicken hard. And I'm like, you sure? Because my sign says, if you want it fried hard, it will, there's no I mean, refund. Be, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. There's no I refund. It's going to be dry. And, yeah. It's going to be dried out yeah. and hard. So, but here in Tampa, they have to say fry hard. I didn't understand places, yeah, that until right some, until else. I ordered from someplace else. Yeah. And, I, and the wings were good. Yeah. They just was too soft. Yeah. <laughs> they cook the, they, they make it like steak. Yeah. They make no. the chicken like steak except for... Except for if you black hair, they overcook your steak. Yeah. So they, yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't get it. Yeah. Mm -mm. So, I'm going to show you K's way. I'm ready for K's way. Yes. Going to be juicy, crispy. They sound like they're ready for K's way too, but they're not going to get none. I don't know why they <laughs> <laughs> Okay. It's a cooking show. It's not nope. an eating show. Okay. We so gonna... you had my chicken, huh? I have. I have. Okay. That's... That is why we here, actually. And, and how yeah. long have you been eating my chicken? Um, probably like four. Four years. Four That's years. right. I've been in, I've been doing this for four years. And I caught you early on. Yes. I was uh, I, I I got your first mixtape, and now <laughs> now you done blowing up. You world touring, and I'm just like, I was at that first show. Yeah. I feel like I was at the first show. <laughs> you were. You were. So um. The one thing about about Cage Kitchen though is it's not just me, is you guys form a, a relationship with your entire customer base. Yes, like I do. Like the way people talk about the way people talk about your brand is about more than the chicken. Yes it is. And um, that's why I wanted to have you here on Eat Your Heart Out, because it's more about um, 
you know, we can cook all day, yeah. but it's about enjoying who you're spending that time with, who you're uh, going to spend that, eat, eat that meal with. Right. A lot of people say it feels like they're sitting in auntie's, auntie's kitchen. Yeah. I get to know my customers. I really do. Yeah. I, Cause I care. We I can care. tell. I can, I, and I, and it's a lot of my, um, customers that come to Kay's kitchen. And if they had a problem, I always made it right because I care. A lot of people don't care, but mm -hmm. I care. I care. They care I about the money, um, but yeah. not the people that's going to spend the money right. to begin with. It's not with. all about the money exactly. sometimes. It's, so it's just about making sure people are happy with the, what they what they pay for and what they, what they got. But if you just look at your growth, you know, you started in a food hut yeah. to a food truck yes. to the... I guess the window establishment. Right, that was at thirty four. To where you at now with the full store, and then. And I used to have I used to be, we used to have seven seven tables inside, but once COVID hit, you had to shut down. I had to shut down, but I went back to what I knew. Yeah. The window. The window. So now I'm just a giant food truck. I just still and I still sit outside at the little tables outside and just exactly relax. Yeah. yeah. And after when COVID hit, um, and even when I went on the news, when COVID hit. Um, I closed down for about maybe two weeks mm -hmm. and it was a lot of people that came and supported. So when I opened up I that Saturday, it was an hour and 45 minute wait, wait and yeah. people didn't mind waiting. They were social distancing outside and they waited and I've been open ever since. Yeah. I haven't closed. At all. At all. I think you expanded your hours. Yeah. For a while. Yeah, I did. But you just do good business and you a hustler though. Yeah, and, and we we. Like I say to... Chicago girls hustle harder. Hmm. hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, the proof is in the pudding. So I, I, you saw I wanted to hate all that time right there was me wanting to hate. <laughs> I couldn't hate though. I really I wanted to hate though. Okay. I'm gonna walk away because I wanted to hate. Now in Chicago, y'all don't use ketchup. No, we use. Y'all use mild sauce. Yes. Which is kind of like ketchup, yes. but y'all will fight somebody for saying that? Yes. <laughs> we don't do mild. Y'all don't, don't do ketchup. ketchup. No. We do it a little bit, but mm -hmm. we live off mild sauce. Mm hmm Okay. So when they come out like mm -hmm. this, you have to dash them with my seasoning. This is your K-Special seasoning? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. So you just throw a little bit over there. And what y'all don't see is the whole the whole room is we know what this is right. Well we don't know what it is, but we know what it tastes like. Oh yeah. And people always ask me, Hey Miss K, can you sell that? No. Let me tell you the the story just recently. I placed an order mm -hmm. for them to send my seasoning. Mm-hmm. And it didn't come. I had just went to Atlanta and spent the time with my son. And when I came back, mm -hmm. it was supposed to be here the next day. But I hadn't had a follow-up email saying, okay. Yeah, confirmation. You, confirmation mm -hmm. that it's on its way. So I called them. And they said, and I open up on, on Wednesdays all the time. I open up on Wednesdays. And they called me and they said, well, I called them. And they said that we won't, you won't have it until Friday what <laughs> i need my seasoning mm -hmm. for wednesday i need your seasoning for well, wednesday mm -hmm. so it was tuesday morning i got up at i woke up i called first thing as soon as they answered and they said no oh, it's coming friday so i had to book a flight call my daughter i had to book a flight to chicago to go get that to get the seasoning she met me at midway airport Mm -hmm. I got off the plane. Well, at, I know I know Chicago the, stories. Yes. So you got there. Uh -huh. you, you strapped it to your waist <laughs> and some to your leg. The secret seasoning. The <laughs> I took a. I know. I took an empty suitcase. I already know. And I got a false three, bottom. They call right. that false bottom. Yes. And I came here. You saw. <laughs> and I had to get the seasoning. Long story short, I came back in one day, so I had it by Wednesday. That's dedication to your customers. Yes. And to that hustle. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. So you got your secret seasoning. Mm-hmm. I'm just talking a little bit longer because all of them over there are hungry. Yes. And it's just making them mad the longer we talk. Yes. So 
I also wanted the people at home to see what the oh, the, the mild sauce. sauce looked like. Okay. So this is Kay's mild sauce. It's yes. a Chicago staple that we get here in Florida. Yes, it has a smell. It definitely does. So anyone that comes from Chicago and they're like, oh my God, I just drove here from Spring Hill or Orlando. Mm -hmm. And they're like, please tell me you have the mild sauce. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yeah, I have the mild sauce. I get a couple extra each time. Yeah. So they come and as soon as I put it on their food, because we love it all over Everything. our food. Mm -hmm. We like to drown it. Mm hmm and if, as soon as I hand them the bag, the first thing they do is they take it and they go, oh. And they smell that twang. Like yeah. But Tampa, they're differs. Yeah. They just dip. Because we don't have sauce like this. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't have sauce like or this. Or people come to the restaurant and they say, can I have buffalo wings? Yeah. And I'm like, you can, it's no, nothing different. You can get the buffalo wings. The same thing I have It's probably a generic, but it's just nothing nothing it's nothing different mm -hmm. so but i said but if you want something that you would have to go to chicago to get that's where you come that's in. where you need to come this is where you need to eat so we got a taste of chicago mm -hmm. not the taste of chicago but we have our own taste of chicago right here at Kay's kitchen why don't you tell them uh your address okay. your ig okay um well i am Kay's kitchen i'm located at 11124 north 30th street right here in tampa between fowler and Bush Boulevard on 30th. Um, my Instagram is K's underscore chicken underscore kitchen. My website is K's Chicken Kitchen. And Facebook is K's Kitchen Tampa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sad y'all don't get to see her smiling too, because she be smiling <laughs> when she says all that. Yes, so like I she do. smiles when you come and it make the food taste better. It just it makes everything better. She has this great smile that could it could be on the shirt. Thank you. So no, it's it's infectious. Um, Thank you. We see your your whole family. It's a family business. Yes, it is. So, I treat my employees like family. Mm -hmm. I just had my cook. He followed me from the food truck, and he became my employ employee. Mm -hmm. And he's been with me for two years this past weekend, and he said he wouldn't have it no other way. And he loves it. And every time he, my employees come to work, they all give me a hug. We all hug. We all That's pray. a special place to love your job. I never yeah. loved a job. <laughs> I don't have good jobs. Mm. Yeah, we're family. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, I want to have a piece of this. Okay. So I'm going to tell you how I eat my chicken wings. Okay. Okay. I use the split method. Boom. Right? You twist and split. Okay. Boom, like that. So you got two different sticks now. Uh, so I can dip right here with the small one. <laughs> I have more to say till I tasted the chicken. <laughs> mm -hmm. Y'all want some of this? So we're just going to ignore them. Uh, thank y'all for coming to uh, Eat Your Heart Out at home. Um, she basically showed you how you could make this. Uh, you got to talk. I'm eating chicken. <laughs> so I basically showed you a little bit. Didn't tell you everything, but I gave you enough information. So she come gotta out and money. check out Kay's Kitchen right mm -hmm. here in Tampa. Mm-hmm. You're making me want some. <laughs> I'm supposed to be clapping for her. all types of stuff. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this man done took the chicken. We still recording. Oh, wow. We still recording. That just means Disney? we need to make some more. Okay, I'm going to make some more. Peace. Peace.